And today I want to talk with you about how I'm building my second brain. I'm assuming you're seeing my slides. All right, so what is a second brain? Before you get too excited, thinking I'm talking about AI or robotics, I'm talking about note-taking, note-making, knowledge management. The, uh, the concept here we're addressing is, so a second brain conceptually is external information, a collection that aids your thinking and memory. So it's not just storing stuff, but it actually helps you think and helps you remember. In practice, for me, what that looks like is making notes and using this fancy bi-directional backlink syntax to link notes. I'll get a lot more into that, but just to keep laying the conceptual groundwork here, um, something that has kind of spilled up in the recent years with digital tools, personal knowledge management. You might see PKM get thrown around. Um, we all know about wikis. This is, it's sort of like a wiki, but wikis aren't quite what I'm talking about. Uh, what actually got me started was the Zettelkasten, which means slip notes box. And that was the original analog way of doing this. Um, digital gardening, you'll see that too. I think that's a really cute way to put it. Uh, if, you, if you're feeling lofty and want to try to put your entire life into this note-taking system, you might see life operating system as a term there. And something that's speaking to me is linking your thinking, probably because it rhymes. So what, what's the problem we're trying to solve here? Um, in my humble opinion, my one brain is limited. Uh, lately, I've been juggling more projects. So got a lot of information to, to keep in my working memory. Uh, I'm always learning things. Um, and sometimes new things can be intimidating. So how do we juggle a lot of different concepts we have to learn? Uh, information comes from a lot of different sources. Uh, people recommend check out this article. So they'll be on Slack sharing links and ideas. Uh, you'll get that in emails too. Uh, you probably have your own bookmarks. So we're starting to get into your own notes collection as well. Uh, some people just use the internet as their second brain. They'll Google everything repeatedly. Uh, what I've noticed is like, if I do that, um, a lot of times it'll be like, okay, cool Stack Overflow article or post. Uh, the thing that's relevant to me is some comment on the third answer or something. So it's hard for me to remember exactly what the good information is. So the key question for me is, are we able to make notes and discover them without too much friction? And I think with all these different sources, just relying on your one brain, it can get overwhelming. So I found the benefits to creating a second brain. Uh, one is solidifying knowledge. So before I felt like I felt like I'm storing it, maybe learning it, but by collecting notes in the way I'm doing it, I feel like I'm actually solidifying the schema for it. And I'll share with that with you when I get to the demo. Um, it's a lot easier to search for ideas once I've made the schema and as a result, share them. So it's like, oh, I know exactly where to look for. It's relevant to you. And I've done the hard work of like, making highlights and figuring out what is most important to share. Uh, I found that I'm able to consolidate and reduce clutter. So before I was just dumping a lot of notes in one place and giant collections, and I couldn't link to any particular topic. So I would have to manually search for them. I thought I put that up, maybe it was like two years ago. So I'm like looking for a date, if I put a date in there. Um, and the final benefit is one that's really interesting to me, that structure emerges from the notes themselves. I don't have to impose like a directory structure for them. The links themselves, it, it, they emerge. It's called emerging structure, and I think it's super fascinating. So what are these funny backlinks I keep talking about? So web links that you see every day on the internet, kind of like this one. So the source is this slide and the destination is the actual article. I'm not gonna click on it, but so that's a unidirectional link. Um, the destination, which is the article here, has no knowledge of the source that linked to it. It doesn't know that this slide linked to it, but backlinks are bi-directional. So the destination links back to its sources. So within my personal collection, I can connect anything to anything else. There's nothing's private, everything is available. 
as long as I use the backlink sy syntax. So let's get into a demo. So I'm going to take you from kind of genesis of making a note based on a resource to linking it to my schema, to maybe writing a piece about it, and putting this all into a task management system. Here we go. So this link here I have up. Uh, I found this to be a great article when I was whenever I've been doing work with logging. And it's for Node.js. And you can see there's some little inline code snippets, a list here, and an actual code block and some headers. So I usually I'll just copy it directly. This is the easiest way I've found to save something in Markdown to preserve the formatting, but not save it as an HTML file, is to put it in a scratch Google document. So I just paste it in and the formatting is preserved. And then I have this fancy docs to Markdown extension. So it pops up on the right. There's some options here, but you can just click Markdown. And what it does, it actually preserves the list here with this, um, this bullet syntax. Uh, we can see that it uses backticks to actually preserve this Winston code inline snippet. It's got a fence here and the heading. So what I do is I'll just copy the markdown. It actually went to my clipboard already and off to my second brain. So I'll paste it in here. I actually paste it in more than what, what I have. And I will, just for good measure, I also use this extension here in Chrome to copy the tab link in a markdown format. So I have the title of the piece and the link to it in the markdown syntax. So cool. Uh, I made my own highlights in here. So I've basically like digested it the way I want to for my second brain. So then the question is, well, where do I put this? Like, well, I made a title for it. This format is basically something easy for me to remember, and it has the author's last name in it. And then I look at my, my schema for all my notes. So I've split it up like this. These aren't directories. Everything's just in a flat file system here. Um, I can put any notes wherever I want. So here are all the, the backlinked notes. This is just a hub or a table of contents. So I actually want to put this in my node notes. So let's see if that's appropriate. So I'm hovering. The um, extension I'm using is called Markdown Memo that gives you this feature. It's got a lot of great stuff. I'm not going to go too far into it. But so hovering here, yep, I think that's a good place to put it. So I'm going to command click. That'll open my node notes. And this is another table of contents because I have a fair number of node notes. And here's that article. So command click brings me back. Cool. So now let's get into the power of backlinks. So we can see that I have linked this note to node notes, or that's where it's linked from. That's the source of this. But there's also another source, which is kind of cool. Like I can link to this from multiple locations. So here is actually the writing sample I've started based on logging practices. So I have not only the article we just talked about, but Another one that's more generic, like logging best practices, not even in Node, just in general. So I want to combine these two. Um, I also have this other specific way of logging an object in Node. So this, to me, is the beginning of a piece about logging. And I have all everything linked in here. I don't need to search, wait, what was that other article? And uh, oh, by the way, another cool thing is if I rename this, or move it or anything, it actually will redo all the links. So you see how it updated the two links and two files. So I don't have to worry about renaming. Like it, it's always just going to dynamically re-update it. And finally, so we see that this is actually linked somewhere else. Where is it linked to? This is my task management system. So um, I actually have, this is a complicated story I'm working on, Jira 1234. So I have a link to a note there. And this is all just my master to-do list. Uh, here's a backlog in case I have another to-do list and a bunch of other stuff I have to do. And finally, I want to write this article. So I linked it in my master to-do list. So that's just a taste of what or, or how this second brain works in practice with the markdown syntax 
in VS Code and with an extension. So some parting thoughts. Um, on the right is a knowledge graph. Uh, there's another extension or a lot of other applications that will actually build one of these knowledge graphs for you. So you can see where everything's linked and it actually can be useful if you wanna find some like second degree links, like are these two linked things linked to something else? That's a little hard to explain, but if you are interested in knowledge management in general, this stuff gets pretty interesting. Um, so the final thoughts are, don't necessarily do it my way. If you're curious about doing this, experiment a little bit to find your way. Um, I find that the big categories that have worked for me are collecting information, synthesizing it by putting, arranging it in a way that makes sense to me and writing about it, and then managing like the task management thing. So linking to whatever's pertinent kind of top of mind. Um, if you make this a habit to make as many links as you can, not, not needlessly, but just make the habit of, I'm putting this into my collection. What else does it link to? Um, I've found that it creatively creates synthesis. Uh, new ideas form effortlessly from these linked ideas. It's sort of been a writing secret weapon for me. And I've experienced compound growth. So I started doing this like around six months ago. I have work and personal second brains between them. I made 870 backlinks and I have 226 files that are all linked. Um, I definitely have over 50 article highlights and stuff, um, books I've been reading, I, I make my own takeaways. So that's helping me further synthesize stuff. And I started weekly micro blogging, just basically sending friends uh, interesting things for the week that I've discovered by building my second brain. So I wanna leave you with a lot of resources if you're interested in, in this. Uh, this first slide is all like about methodology, not necessarily tools. Um, so I started with Zettelcast and um, this podcast episode is great if you wanna just hear someone talk about it and their motivations, lots of other thoughts on organizing files and then tools. So everything I was using today. So the copy is Markdown browser extension, the docs to Markdown extension for Google Docs, um, I'm actually using VS Codium, which is kind of interesting in itself. Check that out. This is the extension that has changed my life, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Any questions?